What is going on everyone? My name is JX and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really cool mystery synergy. It felt like not too long ago we got Titania and she had the horrible boss synergies, which, you know, it's gotta be Zemo, right? And he's obviously the Secret Empire member on the State of the Battle Realm map. Uh, but this synergy is for Atuma, uh, who, I, you know, I'm excited to come to the game because I called him. And uh, he has a Fear Itself, which is really cool. Um, obviously, Atuma was part of the Fear Itself comic. And even the Fear Itself comic has been the most requested comic, like, crossover kind of thing uh, that, you know, Kabim have gotten. I've read the forums, and, you know, Fear Itself is always mentioned. I mean, Fear Itself had so many cool characters and just so many cool unique suits. I mean, they looked you know they were pretty badass like i mean you look at all the designs i mean it, it's fantastic and uh obviously we've had we have lots of people from fear itself uh we have juggernaut we have titania now we have thing we have hulk and now this new mystery synergy which uh if we're being real man it's uh it's obviously absorbing man <laughs> i mean i i really think i mean obviously it can be a, like two two three other characters but i really think it's absorbing man and this video is kind of gonna explain why <laughs> but yeah Zorg Man was actually a big part of the fear itself comic and i really thought he was going to be teased obviously when i when we kind of got announced september's event when titania came to the game i was like it's going to be titania absorb man and doom is just going to be part of the event because we already have doom why would Kabam do another doom <laughs> and you know it flew over my head uh so you know Zorg Man didn't come to the game and i was i was pretty sad man and even my best like one of my best friends and lore buddies egatron he he's been wanting he's been wanting absorb man for the longest time and we were like so so disappointed we were like come on Kabam and they even made a poster with Titania on top of a ball and chain which if you don't know Absorbing Man uses a ball and chain I mean look at this dude <laughs> he would be so cool I mean he can literally touch any material and copy it I mean it's so cool it covers his whole body he gets the same strength the powers uh it's it's really cool you know it's like kevin 11 from ben 10 if you know if you know what that is i mean he is just so freaking cool and uh i i'm really excited that kabam are gonna do him actually and he was even teased before when moda came to the game because moda came to the game and he was in this uh this really this part of the collector's edition kind of called the rechecks and items collection and uh we saw the ball and chain we were like, that's got to be Absorbing Man. I mean, we also saw Ghost Riders, Motorcycle. We saw Kingpin's, uh, you know, Kingpin's, um, yeah, his Kingpin things. Uh, Long Shots, Knives, Iron Man 1, the, you know, Stick, Sticks, Scarlet Spider-Man. So we've had a few things that came to the contest and other things that didn't. And Absorbing Man, I was like, Kabam, we're always going to do him because, dude, like, he is so much cooler. And I'll talk a little bit about the other characters. One of them is Sid, Scotty. Um, I think I said that right. And people kind of said she could be the Secret Empire uh, thing on the State of Battle map and maybe Horrible Boss Synergy, but I just don't think so. Uh, she is a Hydra member, but she's just really... Would Kabam do her? I don't know. I, I really don't think so. Um, and obviously, the, all the fear itself, they get their power from the god, the fear himself. And that's uh, actually Odin's brother, uh, what, Cole Borson the serpent uh so he could be the poor of a boss synergy for titania uh, but you know i i kind of look at the state of the battle map and kind of see like okay we only have one asgard spot which was gore uh or sorry we had two at, which was gore and valkyrie but we haven't had one since uh and we do get the update pretty soon but you know we'll see when the update comes out we'll see you know he could be really cool i mean he could obviously actually give people the fear itself powers give them hammers uh like he does in the comics uh but you know it's interesting like with uh with Zorb man they can kind of go into gamma flight uh which i think is what what they're gonna do and i'll kind of explain uh why so yeah obviously Zorb man kind of he's part of gamma flight now he's part of gamma flight with titania um with doc samson um puck and if you don't know who puck is he's part of alpha flight and uh so pal alpha flight is actually getting a new member next year if you don't actually know that uh let's actually put it on screen and we have two department h which department h is basically what houses all the different parts of the you know uh the the canadian special forces and department alpha flight which we have two members is getting a new member and then we also have department h which uh which is another part of it or sorry which i think is not going to be alpha flight it's probably going to be omega flight or gamma flight when the when this uh, in april came out i was like it's probably gonna be absorb man and he would come with titania but that didn't happen so then i was like let me change it to beta ray bill because you know in marvel realm of champions we found out that apartment h was alpha flight and omega and omega flight we have we don't have is beta ray bill and u.s agent and u.s agent obviously can go into the um let's zoom out he can go in the patriot garrison so it's really interesting is that they could kind of do a two different events now like they could kind of you know do a 
two month thing where you have you know someone from Alpha Flight with an with a Mega Flight and then US Agent or maybe they do two with Mega Flights. I mean it's kind of interesting what they're going to be doing. Uh, but obviously if it's not Beta Ray Bell, which obviously he got what third place in the last Summoner's Choice. He's got to be coming to the game, right? <laughs> you know, Kabam kind of said that they kind of look at the... We, we saw, obviously, we saw with Omega Sentinel, she lost second place and came to the game. We saw Agatha lose second place, and it seems like she's coming to the game because we have two... We have two mystery sorcerer, sorcerers or sorceresses coming to the game next year, and absolutely one of them is Agatha. And obviously Zemo as well, you know, he's probably the Secret Empire spot. So I think Beta Ray Bill is definitely planned, and he's probably going to be in the Omega flight. So now it's like, okay, well... Is this synergy going to be for 2024 then? Because this map has so many mystery spots. It feels more than next year. And Kabam always planned two years ahead. So this could be the synergy that lasts a very long time. We saw with Falcon synergy with Sam Wilson. It lasted over a year. So it absolutely could be just like that. Um, but yeah, that's that's my video, guys. I mean, what do you guys think? Do you think it's Cole? Do you think it's Odin's brother? Or do you think it's going to be Absorbent Man? Is he finally coming to the game? I mean, just think how cool he could be. He could be touching, uh, absorbing people's power, uh, absorbing people's, like, metallic, you know, Iron Man. He can absorb his metal. Or uh, even Uber metal from Thor. Or, you know, he can absorb so many things. And even Gamma abilities. He can touch the Hulk and get Gamma abilities. I mean, he is just so cool and overpowered. You know, I think he'd be a great addition to the game. Let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.